In Russia's western Kursk region, bordering Ukraine, the fighting has intensified, and people are worried. The drone was hovering above us. We braked the car in time. There was an explosion right in front of us. It all started at 2 a.m. We didn't sleep till the morning, and then the shells started flying. It was terrible. This footage from the Russian Defense Ministry shows Russian soldiers battling Ukrainian troops who earlier this week crossed the border and launched an attack the Kremlin has branded a large-scale provocation. People are stocking up on emergency supplies and many are volunteering to donate blood. Videos posted on social media show people packing their belongings as well as long lines of cars as they try to flee the fighting. Russian officials say hundreds of Ukrainian troops crossed the border on Tuesday using tanks, armored vehicles, and drones. The U.S. has largely prevented Ukraine from using American weapons to attack targets in Russia. At the Pentagon, journalists asked whether the latest fighting meant that's changed. It is consistent with our policy, um, and we have supported Ukraine from the very beginning to defend themselves against um, attacks that are coming across the border and for the need for crossfires. Um, so they are taking actions to protect themselves from attacks that are coming from a region that are within the U.S. policy of where they can operate um, you know, our weapons, our systems, our capabilities. The acting governor of the Kursk region briefed President Vladimir Putin on the evacuation plans via video link. We have reached an agreement with Russian railways. Three trains have arrived in which we can accommodate 2,400 people. Another eight trains can provide humanitarian aid and evacuate people immediately. The Lipetsk region, which is near Kursk and even deeper into Russian territory, also came under attack. The cross-border assault is one of Ukraine's largest since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022. The question now is, how long will it persist? Mohamed Jamjoum, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.